All right, this morning we are in front of BTL office and uh, we see a group of teachers picketing this business place. Very stinking rich people. And uh, we're going to have a chat with Miss Lupita. Miss Lupita. Good morning. Why Good morning. are you here, Miss Lupita? Well, Why is your group here this morning well, picketing? This this morning, um, teachers are sprinkled in the tongue of San Ignacio and Santa Elena in front of big business places that owe taxes to the government. Teachers pay 25% tax. We're doing our part. We're asking the government and these businesses to ensure that they collect those taxes and save Belize. It is not fair that only teachers and public officers save this country. Everybody must do their part. We are paying 25% tax. We're asking the businesses that owe to pay their taxes. How, how much taxes would you say that, like example, BTL owes? I don't have the figures on BTL, but I can tell you, among a couple of the businesses, maybe about eight or so, it's about $66 million. Only eight. And it's rounding up to $66 million. Why do they want to take 80 million from teachers go and collect from those places and other places. Where, where did, did you get this, these figures that you just told us? These figures, we get them with our, through our joint unions. We, BNTU always does their, their own investigation. We collect our data. We do not come out here on hearsay. These are numbers that the public, the general public, can collect. Um, what? Pay your taxes, BTL. Why are um, why are we in this situation? You would say why is the with the, the government, the present government, in this situation and wanted to take ten percent of your salary? The the wage bill is very high. That's the one. The country is borrowing approximately a million dollars per day for it to to operate, but there's a lot of wastage. There's a lot of cost-saving measures that the unions have proposed to the can, can government. Can you tell us um, at least two or three of them? Well, clearly they are um, still spending a lot of money on expensive vehicles. They're still selling off the people's assets. They're still doing rehiring of people. So if you're saying that we don't have money in the purse, how is it that you're still spending? We need to look at ways to save money and we need to look at ways to collect money. And this is one way and this is why we're out here But how, how is it that can BTL be owing the government so much millions like you say? That is a question you need to go and ask the government. We would like to know the same. How is it that teachers pay a 25% tax every in a month? But, but, businesses get away from paying taxes. We can't decide not to pay our taxes. It's deducted 25% out of our pay every in a month immediately. Correct. So teachers are doing their part. We pay 25% taxes. And we now have the opportunity to go and pay. They deduct it automatically. So, why are big companies getting away? Okay. So what do you want to tell the public in general? I want the public to understand and do their own research and listen to both sides. The government has put out a lot of commercials and the commercials are making the teachers and the public officers look like the big bad wolf. That we don't want to give up anything while the business people have suffered, people are unemployed. But that is not the issue. That is the focus that the government want the general public to see. The real focus is that we are here because we do not have the proper policies in place to make any government, not this, pre not this present one or the previous one, but any government, they need to be accountable with the people's money and they cannot be squandering the people's money. We were here in 1996. This very, very juncture in 1996, why are we here again? Is it that the public officers and teachers must always save the country? I don't think that is right. It is time that we get it fixed and I'm asking the general public 
to support us because when they cut teachers' salary, they cut families as well because. We buy lunch for children. We send children to and from school with bus money. We give them exercise blank. We give them notebook. We give them whatever they need when they come to school and their parents cannot buy. If you cut my 10%, I will not be able to help students anymore. Mm -hmm. And who is suffering? The people at the bottom. Big companies need to pay. Thank Government you. need to save some monies and stop squander the people's money. All right. So we have listened to one of the teachers here and, and we see here the sign that says no to salary cut, don't cripple the economy. So would you say that the economy is crippled already? It is. Um, there is no denying that. Uh -huh. um, we are not here saying that um, we are at a good standing economically, but we are saying that the minute that you take away from our salaries, then it will affect the entire population entire population will feel. But what, yes. what do you tell the parents since you're out here? Are, are you um, still giving classes online or? or um, of course, person? we don't abandon our jobs. Yes. We ensure that the students have um, their own tasks. They have worksheets to complete. Uh -huh. And whenever possible, then we get online with them and still um, have that conversation and communicate with them. It's not about abandoning the students. This is not about abandoning the students. It's about letting the government know that we um we want better we want better yes thank you so miss how, how long will you be here picketing one hour one hour uh, one and hour. after that uh, our next group will take, take uh, over what, what what will happen afterwards when government takes away the 10 or 12 percent what 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 what, what will be in the what will all you all of you do i we just hope we don't have to reach to that point okay actually. Yes, yes. We don't want to reach to that point because I think it will be a different issue. Yes. If then if he goes ahead with that ten percent, I don't think we will be standing right. here. All Passively, right. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, so they will be according to them will be here one hour picketing B T L. And we see the teachers here standing. Even in the sun, teachers are not afraid of the sun. Yes, we're not they have afraid. always gone out, rain or shine. That means my show. I, 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 I don't get my retirement yet. Not yet. Eight months. I cannot go to the Chinese and ask for, for food for free or on credit. So I, I am really worried. Plus, now they will take they will take 10 percent, 12 percent, depending on how you how much you win. Uh -huh. That's unfair. Yes. You know, and we pay 25 percent tax. So I am really disappointed about the government what the government is doing. So what I am striking for is for me to get my gratuity. It's time for me to get that gratuity. One of the things I really want people to ask him for people is why have we reached this point, Michael, that they have to cut down? Cut 10 percent or 12 percent depending. When they are saying they don't have money, but to me they have because I mean they are hiring more police. Yes, it's important to hire police, but not at this point. We can we can we can schedule them. We can do something instead of hiring more police. You know, yes, it's important. But since government says they don't have money, why will they hire other people? That they will get they will get paid. They will have to get that money to get paid. And now they are sacrificing us. Okay. You know, look at BTL. They they are paying just one one point seven percent of interest. Wow. And we are paying twenty five percent. We take out from our salary to buy charts, to buy this, to buy that. Whenever a child doesn't have anything to eat, we feed the child. Always. I huh? mean. We are spending a lot of money from your salary, from my our salary. Plus, after three thirty, that's not. This is a big us. difference between teachers and the public service people. I don't know. They don't take out money from their pockets from their salary. That's correct. To no even you know, pay their their, their that's office. Correct. And but the teachers, I know. We have to take out, you know. I know they are taking more money from us. Where will we get? For example, all teachers have loans. So if they are taking me, let's say, $400 a month now, which is 12%, that means I won't be able to pay bank. That means I won't be able to pay other expenses. Very difficult if situation. If I spend $400 for food, that means I will not be able to. And if I do, then I will be cheated 
somewhere I will be I will be hampered. Yes. So that's why I am not in agreement with this 12. That's why I take the stand today. Yes. And I am 100% sure that I know what I am doing. Plus, like I said, my gratuity. I mean, of course, man, you, you need your gratuity. Eight yes. Months you have and, worked and eight months I have worked so hard many years. for my ears and I know they're. You know, when I was teaching, you know, every time with assessment that you do, you need this, you need that. I know that I am that I am finished. They are taking eight months. I don't even know how to sign my signature again because I haven't gotten pay from from August. Wow. From August, I haven't gotten a cent. You know, well, I need my money. Of course, I and I hope that money. you can get it as soon as possible, my. Well, I hope. So. Yes. Thanks for your.